What is up, bitches? My name is Unreal, and if anybody's a bitch, that's me. Uh, you guys are not bitches. If there is a bitch in this room, it is me. I am the bitch. Anyway, got some more Black Ops 2 gameplay for you guys. This is a 26 and 2 TDM gameplay on the map raid using the MP7, and this gun is a god gun. Um, I don't know what's up. Like, I don't know why it's so good now, but I remember in Black Ops 2's Prime, the MP7, like, it was good, like, it was alright, um, but it never was, like, super, super good, like, you know, you had the MP7, or, excuse me, you had the MSMC, like, the PDW, Scorpion, they were all really, really good, and if you guys have played Black Ops 2 from the beginning, you'll know they've patched and, uh, nerfed the SMGs over and over and over again, but this gun is just a god gun, let me tell you, like, this gun freaking melts, I think, so, like, sometimes it's almost better than the MSMC, I definitely think it's better than the MSMC, um, when you have suppressor on it, um, so anyway, using MP7, playing TDM, I've noticed, and this makes sense to me, uh, I've never really kind of put two to two together before, but, Team Deathmatch, that's where the noobs are at, like, straight up, that's where all the noobs play, and I think that's the reason, not to say, I'm not trying to say if you're, you know, if you play TDM, you're a noob, but, you know, in every Call of Duty game, there's more people playing TDM than any other game mode, so, you know, with more people in a certain game type, you know, there's probably, you know, more chances there's going to be more noobs, so, uh, I joined this game, and man, like, the, like, look at the, like, that guy right there, like, he's a straight up noob, and right here is where I completely fuck up. Like, I didn't realize that I was one off the, um, the VSAT. And, like, I had a sniper. I picked up the rocket launcher. I was trying to get the MSMC, and I just ended up dying, so. But, yeah, I really like TDM, uh, here lately. It's, I've been able to get easier gameplays. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop trying to go for high-scoring gameplays, because they, they just, um... There's a right time to play, and there's a right time not to play, and I usually can only play around the morning time, and I never can get any gameplays, because you're playing against, I don't want to say, like, noobs, but they're just, like, I don't know, they're just, they're just bad players, like, fucking running around just RPGing you to death, and just a bunch of weird shit. Um, like that guy, like with Riot Shield, and I'm surprised that he wasn't like doing the whole Riot Shield, switching to his akimbo pistols and stuff, but, uh, this gameplay could have been way better if I would have not choked the VSAT, and if I would have actually joined at the start. I joined in like four or five kills into it, but, um, that being said, nothing really you can do. I was rocking the, uh, the invincibility perks. If I call, if I'm allowed to call them that, um, flat jacket, tack mask, um, tack mask. They need a buff tack mask. Like in the next Call of Duty, tack, na tack mask needs to do something better than it does in this game because you still, when a concussion or a flashbang hits you, you still get slightly stunned, like for like a second or two. Like it doesn't completely not stun you. Um, like you, like, you get stunned just a tad bit, but it's still really good if you got flat jacket on, too. And I've got lightweight and extreme conditioning, so I'm rushing around, and I don't have to fear shock charges or, you know, bouncing beddies or stupid shit like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It's a little short one, 26-2 team deathmatch. Uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe, that would be awesome. I just hit 100 subscribers not too long ago. Um, I'm really looking forward to hitting more subscribers. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Until next time, peace.